Okay, welcome to Woodhouse Cafe. Um, this is actually um, my next door neighbor's cafe, and I'm actually filming filming here. Um, it's kind of it's, it's very local. It's only like a it's in well, like five minutes walking from my house to uh, to Woodhouse Cafe. If you can see the sign back there, Woodhouse Cafe. Um, really good coffee. Uh, 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 cafe, cafe sur, uh, cafe Saigon, and, uh, and um, Sinto, Sinto, Sinto Yotai. Yeah, you know, Sinto Yotai. So, um, part of my Vietnamese is not perfect, but it's uh, I can speak enough Vietnamese to actually get around. After living here for uh, a year and a half, Ursang, Toi, Toi Ursang, Vietnam. Uh, one year and a half yeah so I've uh, been living here for about a year and a half already so I do have a little bit of a grasp in terms of the language and uh, so that's another thing if you come into Vietnam if you want to live in Vietnam learn the language a little bit uh, get the basics learn the numbers learn numbers which is you know mo hai ba bong nam sao bai you know, tam, I mean, so on and so on. Learn the basics. If you learn the basics, it's fine. You learn, learn the hierarchy system. When I say hierarchy, hierarchy system meaning learn the, um, the, 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 the um, ban, which is friend, okay, ko, which is uh, miss, and uh, and toy, which is you or any, uh, you. Let me talk about yourself in any specific, like my, I, um, it's all toy, right? So doi, which is you. Um, friend, ban, you, like somebody else. Talk about someone else, ban, same thing. Um, so all these little, if you learn the basics, like uh, like uh, sinto, it's just like smoothie, you know, we all drink smoothies. So sinto, sinto, yao uh, dai, so strawberry, so it's yao dai, yao dai, strawberry. Um, this is uh, chara, no chara, which is, is actually uh, tea. So chara is actually iced tea. So um, in, in, in hindsight 2020, when you want to think about certain things, this is like glass. So glass is li, li, li. So uh, you want to say like one glass of so li, uh, li chara, you know, there we go. Um, coffee, if you want a cafe, you know, say cafe soa. Cafe, uh, cafe is not spelled the same as coffee in America, which is C-O-F-F-E-E. -E. You know, uh, it's not like that. Is cafe, you know, you know, C A hyphen P E P H E hyphen S, which is S U with a hook and A, so cafe S or cafe Saigon. You know what I mean? You can get one of those as well. So there's a lot of little things like okay, ice, da, da, you know, da, ice, you know. Um, so like I said, there's a lot of things. Like these little things, you learn these, these little little things first before coming here. Believe me, you know it, 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 you will never get perfect. And anybody who tells you learning Vietnamese in America is going to help you when you get when you get here, it's totally different because you go from north to south. You go from freaking from uh from, from Saigon to Central Da Nang to uh, north, which is uh, Hanoi. Speaking is spoken entirely differently. There are 56 ethnic minority groups here in Vietnam. <laughs> so each one of them have their own dialect system, but the main the main dialect is 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 Viet is Viet, uh, uh, Teng Viet, which is the main. Everyone speaks Teng Viet, but if you speak to some locals, like let's say I go to uh, uh, Quang Nai, Quang Nam or Dak Lak or something like that or, or Ni An um, they're gonna have a different dialect but if you have the basis the basics the basis you know you will understand Hanoi I mean Hanoi they speak perfect Vietnamese like perfect like almost very aristocratic right if you learn that type of Vietnamese you can understand everything else like you literally understand central and northern Vietnamese um, if you learn Vietnamese from the south, you're gonna have a hard time trying to speak to Vietnamese <laughs> in the north and in the, the central. But if you learn northern and central, you can literally understand, you know, everyone else. You, you're gonna have a little bit of a problem if it's, if it's just central. But if you if you learn, if you try to grasp all the dialects as much as you can, 
in the, given enough time, you will learn a lot of uh, a lot more Vietnamese. My plan is to actually learn Vietnamese fluent enough, fluent enough in the next coming years um, um, to speak full on conversations. Uh, my Vietnamese right now is I said around 10 to 15, maybe 20 percent. I can write it a lot better than I can actually speak it. Writing Vietnamese is easy if you if you understand the basis of it. Um, um, it's Vietnamese is spoken backwards. So if you're speaking English, like where am I going? You have to think of going where am I? <laughs> that's how it goes. So that that would be a good out, uh, uh, out. So that's a uh, going where, you know, going, going. Are you where? That's how it's written. Going are you where? It's a where are you going? It's going are you where? So ban out. That's going. It's basically in Vietnamese is uh, is where are you going in English? But instead of saying it like that, it's written backwards. Uh, a lot of stuff is 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 a lot of Vietnamese. When you listen, if, if when they speak English, Vietnamese speak English, they actually once they start learning English, they speak it backwards. They speak English back, and they're like, no, no, it's not you. I go where? <laughs> it's uh, where are you going? <laughs> You know, so it sounds a little bit funny, but I mean, that's that's basically it. But at the same time, um, again, learn, 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 learn. Never stop learning. Never stop learning. And don't let this your ethnicity, race, or because you don't speak a language hold you back from actually perceiving life the way it should be. You know, a lot of people live life due to the mindset of others or due to the paradigm of the, the community or the paradigm of the country. You can't live your life like that because if you try to live your life like that, you're going to lose. Um, 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 never let race hold you back. Never let um, language hold you back. Just be positive. Just think of, just think of, just think of the things you want to do in life and just go ahead and do it. Believe me, out of a hundred, if, if, if you go out there and knock on a hundred doors, one of those doors are going to open for you. You just gotta, you just don't give up just because somebody said no. If someone tells you no 50 times, on the 51st door, guess what? Somebody will say yes. That's basically it. The other thing too is um, dreams. And I've mentioned that many times. Most of our best dreams, the, our best life is lived here. But guess where it comes from? It comes from when we were kids. When we were kids, Growing up, between certain ages, we, we always want to be firefighters, doctors, lawyers, astronauts, all that cool stuff. Then we become adults, all of a sudden you become a freaking waiter at a restaurant, and you become a, uh, a, 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 a coffee shop attendant, you know what I mean? It's not wrong with those jobs, but it's like you, oh, well, I, I, I just need to pay the bills so I get a job. Any monkey could get a job, but guess what? It takes true character and personality and a person of will to say, hey, you know what? I need to go out there and get a job. How do I get the job, right? You know, when I was younger, you know what I used to do? I used to actually literally look at the look at the the the, the, um, the ad pages for job the job ads to see what was the qualifications for those jobs. If I didn't have those qualifications, I figured out how do I get those qualifications. If I was to go to college, I looked at the jobs I wanted to do and looked at the qualification. See, that's a smart way to think. Well, you know, if, I'm a, if I want to be a firefighter, what are the qualifications of a firefighter? What do I need to get, right? And I was literally 18, 19 thinking like this. I mean, a lot of people laughed at me. But they called me astronaut. They called me, um, hey, you know, you're just a freaking, you know, your head is in the clouds. Just go get yourself a job. Now, if I went and got a job just like everybody else, I probably wouldn't be sitting in Vietnam. I probably wouldn't be traveling Asia. I probably would have never gone to Korea. I probably would have never gone to China. I probably would have never gone to you know, to, 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 uh, to, 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 to Laos, you know? So don't limit yourself, don't limit yourself. And if you talk to a guy that actually came from the Caribbean, a guy came from the Caribbean, lived in the US, done a lot of, did a lot, I'm not gonna go through a list of what I did. I, you know, I try to put it little bits and pieces in certain videos so people get to know me a little bit better because I want to know people, I want people to understand that you're looking at a person of credibility, not looking at a person of who just saying some shit, you know, who just talking, talking, talking. You know, it's easy to talk, but a lot of times it's harder to do. You know, someone told me that a long time ago. It's easy, easy to say, hard to do. You know, and I've done a lot. You know, um, a lot of times I didn't think it was going to work out, but I did it, and here I am today. 
And the number one, number one thing is never hold yourself back even if you think you cannot do it. Just do it. And if, it, if you fail at it, guess what? You just learn something. Thomas Edison said what? The best, ex the best, the best uh, experiences he ever had in life was failures because they taught him how to be better at making a better light bulb. So think about that and let that marinate for a minute. All right? Think about the light bulb. And if Thomas Edison never really and truly had tried at succeeding at making the light bulb over a hundred, I think over a thousand times, he had like a thousand failures. But on the, on, on, on the thousand and one, he figured out how to make the light bulb. That's it. So failures are nothing more than experiences. And the more you experience life, the better you become at it. Let that marinate. Peace out.